Hello there and welcome to Springsteen Guitar. Uh, this is a new channel uh, dedicated to helping you learn all your favorite Bruce tracks. Um, every week I'll be posting a new video, a complete um, walkthrough, um, complete with Pro Tab. Uh, so I'll play the whole song uh, and then I will go through each of the individual parts, uh, all the, the main sections. Obviously with Springsteen there's lots of layers etc. I'll just be going through the main um, important parts. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell uh, icon for notifications. And um, yes, so this week is New York City Serenade, uh, a request from an uh, Italian guy called uh, Filippo. Uh, thanks for the request, Filippo. Uh, and uh, yes, a very long song. Um, I'm going to go through, I've made a, a, a piano backing track Again, I'm not Roy Bittan, um, so it's just I've just simplified the piano. Um, so just get the main gist of it, and I'll go through the main parts. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. Uh, I had a few teething problems recording, uh, linking the video and the audio together because I had to record the uh, guitar and uh, piano separately and then sing it together with the video. It's a little bit out of sync at times, but it should work fine. Um, I really wanted to get that piano track in there uh, as a backing because otherwise that kind of lead part, yeah, it just sounds a little bit empty without the uh, piano. But um, hopefully you get the main gist of it now. With Springsteen varies the parts quite a lot on the recording and even live he's kind of sort of ad-libbing a lot um so I didn't want to go through and no tape which would take hours you know uh every little nook and cranny so I've, I've got some kind of core bits that would work you know um sort of nice strumming patterns it can use over the top and um and yeah that should work fine so the main fiddly bits are the the uh, that intro which just sounds awesome uh, it took me quite a while to work out what on earth was going on because it's got lots of little nuances. So I think it's virtually there. Um, again, it's actually all based on kind of the, uh, I think it's the um, A major pentatonic, but I think you might have a bit of blues in there as well. Uh, that bit there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much the first two shapes. Uh, of the A major pentatonic, if you know your uh, your scales, and it goes up to here as well. Uh, the fifth shape of the A major pentatonic, so it's kind of worth knowing your scales because I always encourage my pupils. Um, I have another 
uh, channel, by the way, JS Music School, which I do lessons and things if you wanted to check that out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is where scales come so in handy because it, it takes you so much quicker. It's, it's so much easier to learn songs, solos and things if you know your kind of grids and everything. But uh, anyway, so I just want to go through sort of the main sections and sections that you might not be explaining exactly on the record but will work really well in a you know open mic situation or a band situation but i'm going to go through this um the main kind of intro riff so you've got the piano that starts off uh, and i think this um this bit comes in uh on the over the kind of the d kind of sus2 d add nine kind of chord uh, so what you've got is your i play my third and my little finger on the fifth fret the B and the E strings, and what you're doing is just it's semi quaver. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and you're going like this: one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. And you've got a little bit of palm muting in there again. It doesn't have to be exact. So I kind of palm mute from kind of beat two roughly onwards. So you go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. Now there's a lots of kind of fiddly timing. There's lots of triplets and stuff. So, so I wouldn't be too concerned about counting this, you know. Um, it's quite hard to count and play this at the same time. So uh, I'll just kind of play the next bit. So what you've got here, again, I aim to do a fair amount of alternate picking as well. Um, so the next bit, you've got fifth fret B. Um, so four lots of the fifth fret B. Again, these kind of triplet rhythms here. Uh, and you've got this brilliant, awesome kind of long full tone bend on the 7th fret E string so which is it's quite hard if you've got if you don't play acoustic that much it's quite a controlled bend but it uh, sounds absolutely brilliant um, I had to put quite a lot of reverb on the, the recording I think it sounded a little bit nicer with reverb trying to get it as close as the original recording but um, yeah so you've got 5th fret full time again you might be playing it slightly differently this would work, it's pretty much there. But And then I think he's got a pre-bend here. And then some kind of ghost notes, so kind of uh, slightly sort of uh, softer notes. Um, and then got a pre-bend then on the, the seventh fret and then pick the fifth fret on the E string, so. And then kind of like three notes, so. One E and a two like that kind of and you've got a nice sort of quick sort of slide um the sixth of the fourth fret of the g and then he's basically got lots of kind of triplets rhythms for the rest of the the section um on the second fret so you've got uh, i think i might have done a too, few too many there but um So that's the rhythm. So you've got um, it's quite hard to count how many he's actually doing there. But yeah, just again, you can slow down the video. Don't forget when I'm playing it in the full walkthrough. Um, and then you can just really zone into that rhythm because it is quite fiddly, but it just sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, and that, uh, you know, as long as you get the rote notes right, you can even do, if you're in an open mic situation with a pianist or whatever, you could even just improvise using A major pentatonic, but I think this does sound really nice. Um, then the next bit, you've got the kind of same sort of rhythmic pattern as you had there, but up here, um, slightly different. So 12 to 14, again, I really like using my third and fourth fingers to slide. I, just, I can get it quite accurate there. And then you got, I think he's actually doing some extra kind of little picks afterwards. Again, it's quite hard to hear. Um, again, this just finishes, the last bit finishes off here. So again, A major pentatonic. Um, okay, so yeah, so I main thing is probably with the main walkthrough, just slow that section down with the cog icon in, in YouTube, because a lot of people don't even know about that. And that will help you... Um, yeah, it's just uh, sort of really um, focus on that intro because it does sound brilliant. Now, as I was saying, um, Bruce varies the song a lot, uh, rhythmic. He sort of changes picking and rhythm 
and all that. So I wouldn't be too concerned in kind of copying it exactly. Um, so what I've kind of done is done like a soft strumming pattern and a hard strumming pattern and then some picking that he does. So, you know, after that little intro there, uh, I've got this strumming pattern, which is basically one, two, and three, and four, and a. So again, if you're not familiar, you're not too confident on the strumming, check my JS Music School um, website out. I've got load and go on the blog and then go on the strumming. I've got lots of videos on how to strum properly because a lot of people don't have a clue on when to do a down or up stroke. So I've got videos on how to strum 16th notes and quaver patterns, for example. So, but this is the the pattern. So you've got one, two, and three, and four, and a. So you kind of use this for the soft one. So you can use it throughout the song. Um, and then sometimes it goes harder. So you've got A major, F sharp minor, B minor, D sus2. Some people call it D add nine. It's basically your D major without the middle finger. Okay, so that's the soft strumming pattern. And then you've got that kind of uh, nice hard one that he does. And again, he embellishes it and changes it. So it's worth, if you can play semi, semi quavers really well, um, then you can you know, ad lib you know, as and when you want to. So the next bit you've got. So this is kind of the harder strumming pattern. He does that as well kind of after the uh, the end of the the intro so you can look out for that as well but yeah pretty much this that second pattern again one two and three and a 40 and a one two and three and a 40 a one and two and at the end of the verse you've got that kind of picking through that part so then the rest of it I think he does kind of a mixture of picking and soft strumming so what I just suggested is do something like this, uh, sort of similar picking pattern throughout for the verses. So you've got the A. It's going to go from the A string, then B, G, D, G. Yeah. That works really nice. And do that for all the chords. And basically the F sharp minor. Let me do a different set of strings. B minor really nice little simple picking again you can vary it up okay uh, and then for the um, the other sections you got the you've got the funny piano bit again my piano playing is uh, it's David Sanchez actually on the record not Roy Bittan that I might have mentioned earlier uh, but yeah I've just got the main bits but you know that it's kind of a nice little ding, ding, goes B minor 7 up the piano keyboard and I've just got the same picking pattern B minor And so on. You can do the F sharp minor, and then that's pretty much it, really. The great thing about it is pretty much the same chord progression for a lot of the song. Um, you know, the outro is all about the string arrangement as well. Um, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, and then you just got to remember the structure. So what I'll do is I'll put the structure up on the in the description. That should help a lot. Um, and, that, and that's it really yeah you just got to remember which which when time you know to save your notes bit and all that sort of stuff um, um which would be minor f sharp minor oh yeah and the other bit um at the end of the kind of that those break sections you've got d sus2 and you've got an e7 and usually the same kind of picking pattern and then e major after that so um yeah so hopefully uh that's all the parts sorted and um yes yeah, so again it, you can vary it as much as you want so um again thanks very much for watching uh please consider subscribing and uh yes i'll actually be um back on on friday for the wrestler another request so thanks very much cheers bye